stampers welcome to another week of watch it weekly wednesday i'm aubrey and today i'm excited to share with you a fun technique that you can do with stamping i'm going to use the this little piggy stamp set for this i just love these little pigs and the fun thing is this is carrying over into our next annual catalog so this one will be around for a while so i'm going to just go ahead and show you the technique it's called the mirror technique and then i'll show you my samples that i made with it so I have this Hogs and Kisses stamp that I'm going to use. I'm going to make two little piggies look like they're kissing each other. Super cute. So I'm going to use the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I have inked up this pad really well. So it's, it's pretty inky. You want to make sure that, that it's a pretty saturated pad when you, when you do this. So I have... Um, the silicone mat that we carry and I'm just going to stamp right onto this mat. I'm going to just stamp my pig right down onto there just like that. Okay and then I have some whisper white paper and I'm going to turn that mat over and just basically stamp from the mat onto the paper just like that and then I'm going to take my stamp again and I'm just going to stamp my other pig so that they're kissing just like that. Now with this stamp set, because it has words on it, you'll have to cut those words off so that you don't have backwards words <laughs> on your stamp. But you have your cute little pigs um, kissing there. I think that's such a fun technique and you can do it with really any stamp. I think it's super cute with some animals because animals kissing is the cutest thing ever. But let me show you some of the samples that I came up with using this technique. Here is my um, using that same stamp and I like I said I just cut the sayings off the bottom there and then just mounted it down here really easy and I used blends to color to make those ki those kissin pigs just pop right off and then I also used this one this you make me ha happy one I thought that was cute looking like they're dancing together and the way that I did this I stamped this one just normally and when I stamped this on the silicone mat, I just took a wet wipe and wiped off the words so that it wouldn't get onto my paper. Super easy and um, quick to do. So I just wanted to share that technique with you today. I'd love to see your creations using this technique. Make sure you post them in the comments below and make sure you visit our website at stampandjill.com if you wanna make a purchase. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.